think that systematically it's idle to talk about what should be done because it won't be done. I'm not being cynical. The schools perform a vital function in a in a capitalist economy now, and they're hardly going to, out of shame, uh, say, well, okay, we'll, we'll do it away to produce maximum power in everybody. I mean, it's not going to happen. However, what people should do, either students, that would be best, or, or parents, or guardians, or little bands of community people, is to first determine uh, I think the easiest thing to do would be to determine what the top 20 elite private boarding schools actually do, and then to inform the kids that it isn't likely they're going to get these things in school, they're not to make trouble for the school, but they're to stand back in their classroom time like anthropologists and study how other people are massified. Uh, there and then with their spare time. Fortunately, we know th that it only takes about two hours a day to get a magnificent, a superb education. In fact, the homework I assign your listeners is to pick up a copy of a book that's been continuously in print for, oh, Lord, it must be 200 years or 250 years. It's the autobiography of Benjamin Franklin. It's only 100 pages long. And you'll learn from that book that Franklin was working a 60-hour week, hard work, and in his spare time at the age of 12, he was putting himself through a curriculum, and several of his friends too, that I tell you Harvard wouldn't dream of asking its undergraduates to go through today. Good.